Hello and welcome back to another Final Table Commentary. If at any point in time you find yourself not caring for the commentary, there will be a link in the description down below to the video and Cali Poker TV Poker Replays. So if you choose to do so, you can go check out the action in some silence. With that being said, today we got a 1k PKO from the recent W Coop. Got a pretty good uh, couple of players here on the Final Table. We got Amadi, Giant Santos, Inca, Taurus, Levy Tate. And we got the nerd guys in there with 22 blinds. Urasov with 43. Got EJ and Yuya with the big stack. 50, uh, 71 blinds, sorry. 5-6 um, suited. Going to start things off with the open. Taurus will rip in the jack in the jack. Let's see if Yuya goes bounty hunting. Only $2,400 uh, on the line there. So Yuya says I'm going to fold. What's going on here? Not too, too much. Levy in the small with a 5-2 suited and 100 blinds. We're going to find some way to play this. Most likely going to be a raise. What size do we go is the question. Somewhere around 3 blinds. Could be a little bit smaller. I wonder if he goes larger, like 3.5. He just goes all in. And the uh, nerd guy swiftly folds. Ace and a 10 for a nerd guy, Yurisov. That's not Yurisov, that's Yuya, sorry. The King Jack will open it up. Inka with the Ace Jack. Hmm. From the High Jack. He sees the under the gun plus one raise. <laughs> Inka lets it go. Ace 10 suited for the nerd guy. 21 and a half blinds in total. They rip them all in. And Yuya lets go with a king high. <laughs> Taurus with a couple of jakes again. Yuya comes in for another open with ace nine suited. Or sorry, ace nine off. Holy moly, we're off to a bad start. Not too much happening for the other players. We'll see a raise. What size does Taurus go? Probably all in with 19 blinds. No need to get too fancy here. And Taurus will take it down pre. Mm -mm -mm. EJ folds a queen nine suited in the big. Mm -mm -mm. And Yuya lays this down. So not too much interesting happenings yet. Taurus picks up a couple of strong pocket pairs. Gets a couple of raises through. Nerd guy gets a jam through. Yuya loses a few blinds. They're still hanging out in second place with 64. It does kind of suck that Amadi's only got about 18 blinds, but that is whatever. Hopefully they can get back in the game as Yurasov raises up the Queen Knight suited from the button and takes it down pre. <laughs> Amadi does have that big ass bounty on their head, $7,500. Biggest of the table. So you got to imagine they're going to play a little patiently as people are going to be very inclined to go bounty hunting. <laughs> Get a raise from Levy with the Queen 5 suited. Yurasov plays call with Ace 4 from the cutoff. King Queen for Yuya in the small. Plays 3 bet. There it is. You'll love to see it. 10 blinds to go. 7.8 to call. Amadi folds to 10-7 suited. Levy will fold, and then I don't think Yurisov back raises. That would be super cool to see, though. A little 4-bet back raise jam. Whoa, oh, Queen-5 suited rips it in. Levy says, get off my dick, Yuya, and Yuya's out of the pot. What a play by Levy. Great start for them, 115 blinds. Queen five suited. The nerd guy with an ace and a queen will raise EJ with an ace and a king. Um, I think we just rip it all in, right? EJ says, no, no, we're going to go for a small three bet here off 20 blinds. Make it six blinds to go. If I'm nerd guy, sometimes I like to jam. EJ is a small bounty. Under a grand... 
Nerd Guy able to get away from the East Queen here. Nice fold by Nerd Guy. 8-5 suited for Levy. 10-10 for Urasov. Ace ace for EJ. Early thought Levy was gonna open the 8-5 suited. Instead it just folds to Urasov who opens up the tens. EJ might come in for a small 3 bet, but 25 blinds deep aces do slow play every once in a while. EJ says not this time. Um, again, 25 blinds. Yurasov might just rip it in here for the 1k bounty. He says, no, no, we're going to go to the flop. 10 6 2. EJ's in trouble here. I think Amadi folded an ace. Does he have any backdoor straight draws? Nope. Hit about seven blinds and this tiny little bounty is going to go Yurasov's way most likely. Mm -mm. Yurasov in the tank. I don't think we have a reason to raise. The board's just too dry. Yurasov does play call. EJ I think rips it in on the turn here. Snap call by Yurasov. And EJ has 5% going to the river. But truly, it was less than that because uh, Mahdi folded one of the routes. Anyway, so we lose a body. Yurasov gets a small bounty. EJ gets unlucky. That's a damn shame. It's nice to see Yurasov with some chips, though. He's a rather strong player, so we'll see them throw them around. Ace 8 0. Yurasov, the biggest stack remaining in the hand, will go for a raise. We get a Jack-10 suited rip from Giant Santos. This is a beautiful play by them. I think the jam will get through pre. $3,700 bounty on the line. Yurasov says, I am a little worried about whatever Giant Santos has over there. And they fold a slightly better holding. Jack-10 suited for Yurasov. Weird spot is Levy's in the big. We still have to come in for the open, of course, but uh, just a weird spot. Levy's holding 7-2, so it won't be too weird. Taurus with 8-7 suited will likely let this go. Yeah, and we're just moving along. A7 suited for Giant Santos. Whoa, passing on the spot. Tight player just like myself. Levy with the Jack 6 suited will rip for about 22 blinds and take it on down. You know what? Giant Santos isn't necessarily incentivized to be raising that A7 suited there. So it's maybe just an adjustment they've made. And a very reasonable one at that is we get a King 6 open from Levy. Ace Jack for Nerd Guy in the small. Could rip it in here. The way Levy's playing, it would be cool to see a non all in 3 bet. Because maybe Levy's inclined to 4 bet all in. But they're still going to come bounty hunting here. They're going to need a uh, 10 doesn't work. A 5 does, though. <laughs> Levy gets the bounty. Um, sorry, Levy flops the straight draw. They're open-ended, but one of the outs to the 10 didn't work. Um, so Levy could have smacked a king or a 5 come the river. Um, Bobbity boo. Levy gets the big bounty. Suck to see the nerd guy go. And then Levy's got another sh uh, open ended straight draw. Backdoor nut flush draw in there to go along with two over cards. Amadi's got middle pair and is open ended as well. Both players with high equity holdings. We get a lead from Amadi for super small and then basically a click back by Levy. <laughs> All in with the slight favorite for Amadi. Um, no ace nine. No nine doesn't work. A ten would have worked. A five would have worked for Levy. Backdoor clubs would have worked, but he doesn't hit any of it. Does get a couple of queens here. Giant Santos in the big with a king and a ten will likely defend. Play call. 
Jack for two. Goes check bet fold and we're moving along. Unless Levy bets a big blind. One point five. Swift fold from Giant Santos. Do 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 do. King Jack suited for Amadi will get the chance to raise it from the button. Um, and we might be all in too. 16, 17 blinds deep. 8, 9. Oh, for Yuya. Comes in for the open. Amadi rips the King Jack suited. $7,500 bounty on the line. Yuya's doing some math and says, well, I've got 8, 9, 0. Oh. They let it go. Couple of queens for Amadi. A6-0 oh for Yurasov will raise it on up. Mm -mm -mm. Amadi, Amadi. Three betting. Yurasov with an ace and a six. I think we just find the fold, even though the three bet is small. Yurasov, I suppose, could go for a four bet to something super small. That'd be cute. But Yurasov isn't in the punting mode. Ace King suited for Amadi. Getting a couple strong holdings. A couple of ducks for Inca. We'll let that go from the button. Levy in the big with a king and a three. Mm -mm -mm. I'm on the wrong fucking scene. Well, I guess we're just doing it on this scene. What does it look like, I wonder? Oh, I can't even look at it. How do I look at it? Oh, it's just broken. Okay, well, let's go back to the regular scene. Hopefully it isn't too bad. Hopefully it isn't too bad. <laughs> oh, they might not have been able to see Yurasov's holdings. I might have to restart the whole video. Oh, this is just a horrific start. Levy with a jack six suited. Here, so with the six nine. Oh, is the fucking. Is this all working here? It's all working. Holy moly. What do we got going on here? Ace queen for Taurus? Mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. <laughs> Taurus will rip it all in. And Yuya finds the fold in the big. Mm -mm -mm. Not much happening here. Yurasov with an 8 and a 7. They got 50 blinds, so the biggest stack remaining in the, in the hand. They'll raise. Yuya with the 5-6 suited will fold the small Amadi in the big with the jack 5 Oh, could always defend but says why would I? They're in third place, they find the fold. Ace 10 for Yurasov. Get the chance to raise from the cutoff. Dibbity doo, dibbity doo. Giant Santos calls the big with an 8 and a 6. King 3 2 flop. Backdoor straight draws for Yurasov. Santos also has a little backdoor straight draw to the 4 and a 5. But of course, 8 high is just going to hit the muck. 10 6 for Levy. <laughs> They'll raise from early position. A low jack, 8 and an 8 for Giant Santos will rip it all in. And Levy with 33% will play call, look for a 10 or some spades. Oh, they got the straight draw. A 3, oh, a 3 on the river will do. An 8 would have done, a 10 would have got the job done. And Levy gets another bounty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amadi with a couple of 7s. 
will raise ace five suited for levy. We'll play call. Jack ten three flop. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Amadi bets 1.3 blinds with those pair of sevens. Levy's got the backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. We see the four hearts on the turn. Levy's looking for a deuce or a seven. Nope, a deuce or an ace. <laughs> uh, we get a three on the river. Turn goes check, check. Levy might go for a little bluff ski here. Would bet large, I think. What size? Over the pot? Sevens would hit the muck. It's a full pot size bet. <laughs> and then if Amadi can find the hero call, that would be quite cool to see. They are going to lay it down as the three is a pretty horrific river. Flush completes on the turn. That's just kind of life. Amadi moves along. 9 2 0 oh for Levy in the small. We'll limp it on in. Your Rosav will check back the 9 5 suited. 9 8 7 flop. Both players with the toppest of pairs. Levy's in a little trouble here. They're likely to play this aggressively. I don't think Yersov has a great reason to raise on the flop. We see a three of hearts on the turn. Does Yersov even want to raise on the turn? If Levy bets? If Levy checks, of course, we go for a bet ski, but Levy's going to go for the 4.2 big blind bet. Just under the full pot. Get another call. Six on the river, so Yersov improves to a straight. Mm -mm. Levy might still think they've got the best holding here. So they beat a lot of 8x, 7x. They lose to any 10 or 5. And a whole lot of 9s. Obviously the two pairs and sets in there too, but yours I would have raised a set by now. Unless it's 6-6. Six, six. Nice little just get out of there by Levy come the river. Queen Jack go for Amadi under the gun might raise it up. Taurus with an ace and a five with 16 blinds. We'll see what they get to do. Raise first in, coming in. Levy with a couple of fives. There's a raise by Taurus. I don't know if we three bet the fives, and if we do, what size do we go to? Levy says, let's play call Yuya in the big with a nine and a seven. We'll come along. Ten, six, five, flop. So the one remaining five comes on the flop. Yuya has the straight draw to an eight. Taurus with the bottom pair. He's going to get out of there. That bottom set of five is going to go for a little bit of value. About a third pot. Straight draw folds, and Taurus will likely fold as well. No heart in your hand, two pair draw, three of a kind draw. Ah, Taurus does find the call, ace on the turn. Uh-oh. And there's a lot of draws out there. Okay, never mind, Taurus is dead. 12 blinds in the middle, 11 and a half behind. Levy's going to be... Getting this in with, like, what, two outs for Taurus? A couple of aces? Get the king of diamonds on the river. Levy, uh-oh, are you missing out on value? Queen jack makes a straight. Diamonds get there. Um, Does Taurus rip for value? No, they land on the check option. Surely Levy rips it in here for the bounty. And then the question is, does Taurus call? No way Levy checks it back here. You have to go all in. 
There's the all in. Snap call. And bounty slides over Levy's way. Ace and an ace for Inca. Not too much doing for the other players. Levy with a king nine suited. It does like a three bet. I don't know if we want to do it right now against a player who's been super tight. Raising under the gun off 13 blinds. So Levy plays call. Yuya in the small with a king five suited. Just thinking about coming along. They land on the fold option. 9 7 2 flop. So Levy's got the toppest of pairs, backdoor flush draw. And go with the over pair, six blinds in the middle. We'll check it on over. Interesting. Like, we don't have to bet, right? What if we have ace king? What if we have got ace queen? Ace jack suited or something like this? We might check it on over. Inca's got aces, though. They play call, queen on the turn. So I don't know if Levy bets again. They might just go to the river for free. Do they rip it in for value? Try to go for the bounty? Have like very little percentage? Like, is it 20% going to the river? Does Inca slow play the aces still? Or check raise all in? <laughs> Inca in the tank? It would be cool to see a call if I'm being honest. Let's just go to the river. There's a lot of straight draws out there. No flesh draws. Inca goes for the check raise all in and they'll take the pot. Ace jack for Inca in the big. Yuya on the button with an ace and a five. 33 blinds will raise. Looking to take this down pre, but Inca says no way. Um, I don't know if we three bet here. Do we just play call or what? Are we just looking to see three cards? Inca says, nah, nah, not for free. Or not for the two blinds, I suppose. Inca rips it all in. And Yuya will find the fold. $2,100 bounty on the line. It's really not that enticing. <laughs> 9 5 for Inca. Isn't necessarily inclined to raise here. So they are just going to fold and preserve their chips. Levy gets a little walk. 6 9 suited for Yurasov. Waiting patiently in the big. We'll see a Levy open. 4 5 0. Oh. We'll raise 3.5 blinds. I think Yurasov is just calling here. Jack 8 6 flop. So Levy's got a straight draw to the 7. That would make Yurasov open ended with the bottom pair. We see a big Betsky half pot. Get a quick call from the pair of sixes. Three on the turn. So Levy's got another straight draw to the deuce now. This is a card we can barrel away if we want to. We don't have any spades in our hand. Maybe we would prefer to have a spade. Levy says it doesn't really matter. Is this size up a river jam? Pretty close. 12.5 blinds, Yurasov with the pair of sixes. Probably doesn't want to have the nine of hearts. Blocking nine, ten. <clears throat> Queen nine. There's a few straight draws in there that he blocks. And Yurasov does let the pair of sixes go. So nice final table start for Levy. 125 blinds. They got a queen and a 10 they'll raise into Yuya's big with the 7 and a 7. With 31 blinds, we could rip it in. We could just go post flop. Yuya says all in and takes it down pre. Mm -mm -mm. King and a king for Amadi. King 8 suited for Inca under the gun. We'll raise it on up. What size does Amadi go here? 
I wonder if they go small like five blinds or is it a little bit bigger like 6.5 Amadi says six blinds mm -mm. and Inca quickly folds mm -mm -mm. blinds go up Levy with a king and a jack Amadi in the small with a couple of fives 30 blinds. I don't know if we're calling here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Amadi is going to go set mining. Inca in the big with Jack for suited. 1.2 blinds into a pot. That would be 7.2. Inca's getting a fair price here. Look the flop a flush draw. Two pair or better. Mm -mm. Inca says not here, not today. Five, four, two flop. So Levy's not dead. They got the backdoor flush draw. Backdoor straight draw to chop the pot. And Amadi's going to lead out with the top set. 1.5 blinds. Swift little fold by Levy, who's got king high. King 10, or that's a king 2 suited for Amadi. King 10 for Inca. Get a raise from the button. Ink it in this small. Are we folding here? Feels so weak, but we might have to. It would be a nice jam by Inca. You don't necessarily want to play call here, so you do land on the fold. Makes sense. 5-2 will call the big king queen seven flop. Amati with the top is to pairs will bet small and take it down. Queen 10 for Inca. 7 6 suited for Amadi. They're right back in there. Queen 10 suited. Inca might. Do we fold again? Oh, this feels so weak. I don't think we want a 3 bet all in, though. Do we go for a non all in 3 bet? Inca says no, no. We'll just 3 bet all in and take it down pre. Amadi could always call here with about 40%. Go bounty hunting, but $2,100 doesn't mean enough to him. King, king for levy. You're off with the jack, 10 suited. We get a raise and a three bet. Do it, you're off. There's the three bet, 7.5 blinds. Now levy can click it back here. Um... Or play call, I suppose. I don't think we want to rip it in. Just the question is, what do we want to do here? Click or call? And Yurisov, I think. Do we fold to a click? Oh, this is such a weird spot for Yurisov. There's the little click back. 13.5 blinds. So it's only like, what? Six to call? Oh, boy. Yurisov would have 27 behind into a pot. That would be about 27, 28 blinds. Jack 10 suited. We were not hoping for this. Yurisov says, I guess I just had bad timing. Mm -mm -mm. Jack 5 suited for Levy. They'll raise it on up. From the cutoff, Amadi with the queen three and the big will fold. Mm -mm -mm. Ace jack for Yurasov. Ace eight for Inca. Nine nine for Amadi in the small. We got 30 blinds. Like pretty well 33 effective with Yurasov. Amadi covers him for the bounty. This might just be an all in. Ace jack for Yurasov. Um. There's a lot of flips. We're behind ace king and ace queen. We got 45% here. I think we're going to fold. Yurisov is going to do some math first, though. So the Mahdi might be doing this with ace five suited, ace four suited, ace three suited. Does he go as low as ace two suited? He finds the call. 
Ace or Jack, or, or yeah, Ace or Jack. Jack on the turn, 10 on the river. Amadi's got a blind. Just like that, Yurasov wins a huge flip. And Amadi's almost gone to Alonzo. Yurasov's going to limp it in with the Jack, 6 suited. 7 6 for Yuya calls Amadi with a Jack O. Just over a big blind. I think we stick it in here. I wonder what they called instead of going all in. We got a jam from Inca, Ace 4 suited. Does Levy call? Does Levy rip? There's a $7,500 bounty on the line. There's the all in from Levy. Inca with uh, 2100. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> So Inca with the $2,100 bounty on the line. King 5 for Levy. 8 Jack for... <gasps> Amadi folds! King 5. So Amadi does get the ladder. Did Amadi just bait Inca into jamming there? What? Was that some wizardry for about $9,000? Amadi? Queen 3 here. They've got no chance in hell. They need a queen. Um, so. Whoa. Amadi puts their life perceivably on the line. Inca says, look up at how many dead chips are in the middle. I've got a suited ace. I'll rip it all in. And we got a levy jam for like over 60 blinds effective. Get the fold from Yurasov and Yuya. And Amadi finds the fold hoping that Levy busts him out. It's very interesting. I suppose Amadi said there's no way I'm coming back in the tournament anyways. Or maybe it's like they weighed out their options and they said the likelihood of me coming back in the tournament is so small I may as well fold here and take my opportunity to make $9,000 in the ladder. And, well, it worked out for him. You just didn't expect to see it with 0 .01 blinds, a fold. And, like, I guess that's why Amadi called. Amadi is just a wizard. King not, or King Jack 9 flop. Your sub with a pair of 9s. We'll play call. Yuya with the ace queen looking for an ace, a queen, or a 10. We see a 6 on the river. Nines hold up. Um, what a freaking play by Amadi. Whoa. You see, that's a lesson I just learned right there that uh, I never would have put the put the puzzle piece in there if I had not watched this video. Amadi is on another level. Ace nine for Levy gets a walk. <clears throat> king and a king versus a king and a ten. <laughs> We're 60 blinds deep. I wonder how many get in pre. 3.5 is the raise from Levy. Yarsov will go for a three bet. I was going to say 9.5. Yurasov says 10.5. 3.5x in position. Something like that. Now the thing is, Levy could always click it back. They land on the call option. Queen, Jack, 2 flop. Levy's open-ended. Has the backdoor flush to boot. Ace, 9. Or backdoor clubs for Levy. Ace is obviously a scary card for Yurasov, so they won't lose their stack if it comes. But a 9 is kind of a sneaky card here. Levy might even check raise the flop. Not what we do see the jack of clubs on the turn. Levy could lead out. I'm just thinking we could see all the chips go in the middle here. If Levy leads and Yurasov jams, does Levy fold? Open-ended straight draw with the flush draw to boot. There's the lead. So Yurasov wouldn't jam, I don't think. They might make it like 18 blinds or... 
something like that. They land on the call, ace of clubs on the river, so a straight and the flush complete. Years of with the kings, see this is the worst card in the river. Levy running pretty hot, we'll rip it all in. And I think Yurasov can fold now. You lose to the jack, you lose to any ace. The queen isn't going to be going for value like this. King 10 makes a straight, clubs get there. Do we ever bet non all in? Levy says, no, no, we're just all in. And my, me oh my, Levy has ran over the final table so far. Obviously running pretty hot here, kings versus king 10 suited. But um, and if you can manage to get a call out of the king king, I thought I was for sure going to be a fold by Yurasov. They're thinking I blocked this straight. What ace x checks raises the turn? Or sorry, leads out the turn, not check raises. So it's going to be jack x or better. And Yurasov says, I've got a couple of kings, so I guess I fold. As Levy raises the ace 10 0 and takes it down pre. Mm -mm. Jack 9 suited for Yurasov. We'll limp it on in. Yuya calls from the small. So we got $46,000 locked up. The next player to leave will guarantee the remaining two. An extra $30,000 and $76,000 each. Wow, we wee, wow, that's a big number. And then there's bounties on top of that. 7-4 for Levy. Dippity do. We'll raise an ace three. What do we do? Levy's going for a limp here. I was not expecting that. I thought we were just going to continue to play a super aggressive strategy. 5-3-2 flop. Yours off with middle pair and a straight draw to the four. Levy with the straight draw to the ace or six. Bingo, six on the turn. So now Yurasov's straight draw doesn't matter. They just got that pair of threes. I don't think they're going to put too many more pennies in the middle. They might just be done with the hand. Levy checks over the nuts. Hmm, Yurasov does bet 1.5 blinds. Just to protect their equity here. Get some flush draws. Maybe a pair of twos. Mm -mm -mm. Eight seven. Levy goes in the tank. Check raise is coming in. Eight point five blinds. <laughs> and the raise gets through on the turn. Queen seven for Levy will raise. Queen ten for Yuya will call. Six three two flop. Mm -hmm. You, you bet a blind. No, oh, that's lovely. Levy. <laughs> Levy bets a blind and takes the pot down. 6 7 suited for you, yeah. Just gonna fold, okie dokie. Can't do too much off the 11 blind stack. We could have always tried to limp it in, but we're gonna face a lot of raises. So then we think maybe we should just jam it in or fold. And Yuya says, well. I'd rather have a king high and rip it in over the 6-7 suited. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ace-king-6 flop. Yurasov with the top is to pairs. Levy with the backdoor straight draws. Only one really to 2-4. Got a 5 on the turn. So Levy makes bottom pair. Looking for a 3 or a 5. Yurasov keeps in the pot small. 2.4 blinds in the middle. Oh, Yurasov goes for an overbet on the turn here. And Levy will swiftly fold. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. King 5 raises. 6 5 defends. Does it? 10 blinds? Does Yuya just fold here? Now they are going to defend King 10 8 flop. No straight draw for Yuya. Top pair for Levy. They'll bet and take it on down. Do 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 do. Yuya's out of there. Five blind slides Levy's way. Ten 
eight gets a walk. Ace Jack for Yuya. Do we rip it in here? Yuya says I'll put in most of my chips just in case Yurisov comes along. Now Levy might go for the little click here. Nope, they just rip it all in with the king and a nine looking for a king or a nine. King on the flop. Any aces or queen stealer? Nope, but we do get a seven of hearts. Just like that, Levy gets another bounty. Well, their run is almost complete. Yurisov has 35 blinds. Ace king for Levy. We'll get a raise and a three bet and a fold. <laughs> Good luck, have fun, says Levy. Yurisov will need it. Mm -mm. Ace four for Levy. Six five suited for Yurisov. We get a raise and a call. King ten seven flop. Do 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 do. One point three blinds is the bet by Levy, and the bet gets through. Five and a two, we'll limp it on in. Ten seven, we'll check it on back or raise it on up. What do we do, Levy? <laughs> Seems like the aggressive type, so we're gonna go for the raise to four point five blinds and take it down. <laughs> Another ten seven, this time it's suited for Levy. They're gonna limp it in. Seven four for Yurisov in the big we'll check it back. Queen nine two flop. Pretty boring shit here. Levy will bet a blind and take it down. 4-3 mm -mm. suited versus 5-3 suited. This is kind of cool. We both flop the bottomest of pairs. Levy with no backdoor flush draw. No backdoor straight draw finds the call. Yurasov sees a king on the turn in position. Another overcard to your 3. So we're chopping this bad boy up providing nobody folds. Um, I don't think Levy has a reason to bet, but he does bluff, kind of. Is he trying to get Yurisov off a chop? Is he trying to get called by ace high? As Yurisov folds to the bottom pair? Very interesting hold holding. <laughs> three, four raises the button. Queen, three calls. Queen, jack, uh, nine flop. Goes check, check, five on the turn. Not much doing for Levy. Top is the pairs for Yurisov. They'll bet over the pot again. The four high swiftly folds. Five three will limp it in. Levy will check it back. Jack Jack nine flop. Levy checks. Yurisov checks, ace on the turn. So not Levy's favorite card to see. But the check back on the flop. It's pretty good news for your queen nine. It's gonna be some ace x, maybe some weak pocket pairs. What about 10-8? Wouldn't you expect that to start bluffing on the flop? You get a four on the river. So some of those straight draws miss if they didn't bluff on the flop. The flush draw misses. We get a Yurisov 4 blind bet, and he's going to take it down, get the 9s off the hand. Nice little steal there by Yurisov to keep himself in the game with 28 bigs. Queen 2 will defend the big. King, King, 10 flop goes check bet. Um, Do we call Queen high? This sneaky little value bet by Levy with ace high. <gasps> Just kidding. Yurisov goes for the check raise with Queen 2 and takes the pot away from the ace high. Jack 10 suited for Yurisov. Raises it from the button. 4 or 5 calls. Flush drivers, bottom pair. Yurisov also has 2 overs to the bottom pair. Backdoor straight draw. No better blind. Levy will call. Queen on the turn. Something tells me Yurisov's going to win this hand somehow. They've got so much equity, they're in position. Levy's only got the bottom pair. Yurisov checks back their equity on the turn. Seven on the river. Levy checks. Yurisov will... Oh, we're not even going to win. I'm just completely wrong. Levy hung in there on a little bet flop. Or a little flop on the bet. A little bet on the flop. Holy moly. <laughs> and then uh, Yurisov just gave up. 
I can realize their equity. Very interesting. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Pair of sixes for Levy with a straight draw to the eight. Yurasov with two overs. 1.7 blinds is the bet. Yurasov comes along to the two on the river. Mm -mm. Levy bets four blinds. King high for Yurasov. He blocks him like 10 8, 10 7. Um, yeah, Yurasov says maybe this isn't the best call down hand, and they do fold. 3 7 for Levy. Limping it in. 3 10 for Yurasov. Nice raising it to 3.5 blinds and taking it down pretty. It's only two blinds sliding their way, but it's nice to see. Queen three for Yurasov. Queen five for Levy. We get a king four four flop. Goes check check ten on the turn. So we're gonna chop this up, providing there's no five or hmm queen. Queen is a chop pot still. We get the ten of clubs. Boppity boo. We're chopping this up. I don't think anybody's gonna throw in a bet here with the queen high. I'm just wrong. Yurasov over bets. <laughs> 3.3 .3 blinds and takes down the two in the middle. Nice little steal by Yurasov to scoop another two blinds. A set for Levy. Backdoor straight draws for Yurasov. Sees a one big blind bet on a pretty dry board. Like there's plenty of straight draws out there. Jack eight will hit the muck. Jack eight again for Yurasov. This time it's suited. We'll limp it in on the button. Queen ten checks it back. Ace ace six flop. Yurasov mm -mm -mm. bets a blind. Levy plays call Jack on the turn. That's a pair versus a straight draw and flesh draw. Levy out of position. This isn't going to be easy to play. Do we just call on the turn here? It's a big bet. We got plenty of equity. Looking for a king. A queen could be good. A diamond could be good. Whoa. We check min raise the turn. Whoa. What do we do, Yurasov? Do we fold? Okay, an ace or jack makes a boat. Yurasov says we have to call seven of diamonds on the river. So Levy is just running pretty damn hot. Um... I don't think Yurasov calls a jam here. Do we ever bet something small? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the 10% bet. Do you even call with the pair of jacks? Do you bluff? Represent the boat? Yurasov might do it. No, they just land on the fold option. Interesting hand nonetheless. Nonetheless. Holy. King 9 for Levy. We'll limp it in. 2 4. We'll check it back. A 6 5 flop. Dee, 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 dee. Straight draw for Yurasov to a 3. And they pick one up to the 8 on the turn here. Levy as well with that same straight draw to the 8. 5 on the river. 4 high versus King high. Things just aren't going Yurasov's way. King high will take the pot. Queen six will limp it in. Jack nine might rip and take it down pre. That it does. Mm -hmm. Seven three suited for Levy will limp it in. Yurasov was seven five. We'll check it on back. Jack four three flop. Yurasov with the straight draw to the six. A five would get the job done. A big bet might get the job done. Levy checks it all the way down to the river six of diamonds. So Yurasov makes a straight. Not too much doing for Levy. It's a small pot. Won't get too much bigger. I suppose Levy could always call the 3.3 blind bet here. And they say I'll just preserve every chip. Ace eight versus king and an ace. 
We'll get a limp and a raise and a call. Any eights for Levy? No, but there's a king on the flop, so that should do it. Yurasov gets a full double. 29 blinds for him. <laughs> king four for Levy will raise. Jack and a three for Yurasov will fold. Three bet. Three bets coming in. Yurasov is thinking about it. Seven blinds to go. And Levy swiftly folds. 3 7 limps it in. 5 2 for Levy. We'll check it back. 6 6 3 flop. Bottom pair versus the straight draw to the 4. Yurasov bets a blind. Oh, and we love to see it. The 5 high goes for the check raise. Straight draw with the backdoor flush draw. Yurasov plays call. Queen on the turn. Um, So not a great card for Levy's 5 high, but they're still going to go bombs away. 6 blinds to go. What do we do, Yurasov? It would be nice to see another call, but they're going to be playing a weird guessing game on the river. There's so many flush draws, so many straight draws. And Yurasov just has to find the fold on the turn. 4-7 tries a limp. King-Queen might raise it up. Mm -mm -mm. 3.5 blinds to go. And Levy quickly folds. 4 and a 6 will raise the button. Queen-9 defends the big jack-7-7 seven seven flop. Goes check, bet, call, and we're off to the turn. Nope, check, bet, fold, and we're swiftly moving along. 10-8 for Levy will raise. Yurasov with the kick and a 3. 8-4-2 flop. Levy with the top is to pairs. Yurasov with the backdoor straight flush draw. We're just folding on the flop to the half pot size bet. Limp pot. Levy says no it's not. Raises the 3.5 blinds. Yurasov folds the jack and the 3. Ace four for Levy, two and a four for Yurasov. Limp pot, ace, eight, five flop. Quite a bit going on for Levy, not much doing for Yurasov. Does have the straight draw to the three. Backdoor straight draw to the six, seven. We'll play call on the flop. Eight on the turn. Yurasov leads for 1.06 blinds. I think Levy calls. Seven of clubs on the river. So it would be interesting to see Yurasov bluff here. They've got four high. Not a club in their holding. Mm -hmm. They land on the check option. <laughs> Levy bets two blinds. Yurasov finds the fold. Would have been cool to see a check raise on the river there. It just was so unlikely. King 10 versus Queen 5. We got a raise and a call. King 3, 3 flop. Four blinds in the middle. Your side bets one. Levy check raises to three. Your side swiftly folds. <laughs> 8 and an 8 for Levy, 6 and a 9 for Yurasov. 6 3 2 flop goes, check, bat, raise, all in, and a fold. Or a call, perhaps? Whoa, big bet by Levy. 3 blinds to go. Does Yurasov just rip it in here and now? Whoa, we just fold on the flop to the 3 big blind bet. Whoa, wee wee wah. <clears throat> Yurasov flops the top as the pairs, checks it on back, turns a boat. Levy with Jack High. Gets a free river, nine of diamonds. Levy checks. Yurasov might go for the overbet here, like 3.3 blinds, like we've been doing. No, I just full pot this time. <laughs> Ace three for Yurasov, facing the limp from Levy. 
810 suited, very pretty playable holding, sees the jam, and Levy has to fold. King 9 limps it in, 9-6, we'll check it back, 10-5, 2 flop, goes check, check, 10 on the turn. So Levy's got a diamond draw, no straight draws for nobody, no pairs, neither. We see a full pot size bet by Levy, and the King 9 hits the muck. Little steal there by Levy. Six deuce for Levy will raise. Queen five defends the big. King ten two flop. Bottom pair for Levy. Backdoor straight draws for Yurasov with the queen high. Two over cards to the deuce. Levy takes it down on the flop. Seven ten raises. Jack ten calls. King nine three flop. Levy with the straight draw to the queen sees a small bet ski. Comes along to the turn, deuce of clubs. Yurasov might give it up. That'd be unfortunate. <clears throat> they do find the check, ace on the river. If Yurasov bets, surely they can get Jack High to fold here, but uh, won't be easy to find the bet ski. They do find it. Seven blinds to go and a swift, swift fold by Levy. Nicely done by Yurasov. Jack, Jack for Levy will raise. Yurasov calls queen eight. Ace, king, nine flop. Goes check, small bet. And a fold. 10-9 gets a walk. Eight six will raise Yurasov with the queen. Eight will defend. Ten five five flop. Backdoor straight draws for Levy. Sees the free ace of spades on the turn. Yurasov says, "I'll check it on over once again." I've got the queen of clubs in my holding. I don't know what I think about that. Do we get a Betsky here out of Levy? Three blinds to go. And the queen high hits the muck. Nice little steal by Levy again. 6-5. First 8-5. 10-5-4 flop goes check. Bet. Call. We're off to the turn. Four of hearts. I don't think Levy leads out here. They could always bet like a blind or something. They do 1.4. Yourself calls ace on the river. This is a chop pot. <laughs> river goes check, check, and we're moving along. Jack and a jack for sunny ace and a three. Get a raise and a jam and a call. <laughs> Any aces, dealer? <laughs> Another three would get the job done, or a diamond. Five of hearts on the river, so Levy finally gets the job done. Bopity boo, well deserved by Levy. You know what? They got lucky quite a few times, but uh, you know they were just playing the big stack appropriately, and they uh, did a good job scooping the W Coop title. Very very fun to watch by Levy. One of the first times I've seen uh, them pop up on one of these final tables, but they still took her down. Not afraid of some of the big names that uh, we're starting here. We had the nerd guy, Yurasov, Amadi. And they're just like, yeah, no problem. I'm in first place. I'll run the show here today, guys. I guess that's the end of the show. So if you made it all the way through, thanks for checking this bullshit out. Um, if you got any suggestions to make the show any better, fire them down below in the comments. Um, alrighty, adios, amigos. Mm -hmm.